Well, we got some information uh, either through the drinking water program or from a hydrologist that uh, one of the wells in the Tucson airport area had some elevated chromium in it. And that's unusual here in the alluvial basins. Uh, and so we don't tend to see that. We do see it in some mining areas where there's minerals and things. So it was kind of a questionable sort of thing. South of Tucson at the at the copper mines, yeah, we might see some of those inorganic metals that would show up. But chromium was typically not found in the other drinking water wells in the in the Tucson area. And so we thought, you know, is there an issue here? And looking at the uh, types of waste and looking at uh, how the waste were being disposed of at, at the Hughes Aircraft uh, Facility, Air Force Plant 44, um, we started asking more questions. And so we uh, talked to Hughes Aircraft, and they said, well, first off, it's Air Force Plant 44. We just operate it for the Air Force. And so, we, you know, we had sent them some uh, the first draft of, of that little section, a couple paragraphs. And so we, we changed it. We met with the... Uh, folks and they said why do you think it's us you know <laughs> and we said well that's you know the nature of waste they do percolate through the ground and there's large volume that you disposed of over the years from from what we understood but they were fairly concerned that they were being singled out and we said look we're, we're doing an industrial site we're doing a mining site we're doing an agricultural site you know, we need examples, and, and unfortunately, this looks pretty suspicious to us. And so we continued on, and despite their complaints, you know, to our management, and our management was good. They backed us up because it was drinking water. And, you know, that's where we the health department. So I was very pleased with that. Um, but it was it was hard because my training, my experience working with 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 groundwater and, and working with geology was it was fairly apparent to me that something was going on as a result of man's activity and it wasn't naturally occurring. So when I started relating this to uh, the US EPA, EPA became more interested and they said, well, is there something we can help you with? And so they did help us with the uh, uh, the laboratory testing of the water. And in the beginning, it was just the water. And we would collect samples from wells in the Tucson airport area, and we'd put them in, uh, on ice and send them, ship them out of the state. And for many years, you know, I'd collected a lot of samples of water around the state. So I'd done more uh, groundwater contamination removal than anybody else until they got the big systems in place. But our labs couldn't do it here. And so we just pumped gallons and gallons and uh, sent it out of state to the labs. And EPA, you know, thought that was humorous, but they put more money into their program and, and the technology in the laboratory, the detection levels for chlorinated solvents and other contaminants. 